my name is Christian Hansen Kerslov. I am one of the founders of a, a Facebook teacher action group called Läroproret. We started in 2018 because we wanted to give teachers in Sweden a voice. Uh, our aim was to tell politicians about the problems facing teachers in school and to get school issues and problems on the political agenda. Since the COVID pandemic started, the schools in Sweden have had almost zero preventive measures. Uh, and Wendy will explain to you what it has been like to teach in Swedish schools during the pandemic. Hi, I'm Wendy Boyd Isaacson. I'm also a member of the same action group. We've really tried to improve the situation, the safety situation for teachers. In Swedish schools, you are not allowed to have homeschooling. Even if you're in a risk family and you have a risk child or a risk parent, Swedish law is that you must send your child to school every single day unless they are sick. And this has been very concerning for a lot of risk parents. So they've wondered sort of what preventative measures are there in a Swedish school? Basically, there are none. We have alcohol gel in the classroom. We have a few markings on the floor so that they, we try and keep distance between children. But in my school, for example, 700 pupils, 70 teachers. Uh, we are discouraged from wearing masks, both teachers and pupils. I'm the only person in the school wearing a mask at all. There's full class sizes, so the pupils are changing classrooms every hour. A full corridor, thing. we have no improved ventilation, we have no HEPA filters. And the biggest thing is that our own health authority is just filling Sweden with disinformation. They've said that the scientific evidence on, on wearing masks is still insufficient. They've said that it, it can, contaminates you by droplet transmission. There is no aerosol spread. So in the classroom, if you can at least keep two meters from your pupils and no contact under two meters for less than 15 minutes, they don't recommend masks in the workplace at all. Even the kindergartens have had no, no preventative measures. Either. Well, we're, we're 10 maths and science teachers at my school. Six of them have been infected with COVID. I'm the, one of the, I'm the only one that wore a mask that wasn't infected. The six out of the remaining nine have been infected. One of them has had long COVID. What happens if you're so scared that you've got a high risk child or a high risk parent, you decide not to send them to school then? Well, then the Swedish government um, will probably fine you uh, $70 a day for every child that you decide not to send to school because it is a legal requirement to have your child in school at all time. So what about the Delta variant then? Well, it's just started in Sweden. We don't exactly know how much because there's very little sequencing of the Delta variant. Less than 10% of all the positive samples have been sequenced. What we do know is that the education minister has said that in August, all schools are to start up. There are still not to be any masks, any improved ventilation, no HEPA filters. Everything is going to start up, even the schools that have been closed. We did have the senior colleges closed most of last year. I teach 13 to 16 year olds. We've been in school all the time, all of last year, apart from the odd week when we had remote learning. And now everything is going to go back to normal. So we've a lot of teachers that have been really scared and concerned and worried. So what have we tried to do as an action group? Well, we've really tried to sort of, we've written articles in interviews, we've written petitions to the politician, our work authority, and lots of other different places to try and change opinion. ECDC and WHO. Wherever we can, we have tried to affect opinion and make schools a safer environment for both pupils and teachers. And we haven't succeeded. We're still really hoping that we will succeed. We're not going to give up. And we really want to push Swedish politicians move into action because we've been told that schools are safe. We know that they're not. We've told that Children do not transmit the disease. We know that they do. All six of my colleagues were infected by pupils in their class. We're told that you know, the risk of being infected with COVID is not higher for a teacher than it is for anybody else in a normal working society. And it is. We can see that because we know how many of our colleagues have been made sick at school. So we're really looking forward to just working together with you guys a couple of days and we'll see what we can find out, what we can share for experience. So thank you very much for, for, for listening. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.